I haven't done a vlog in a long time with the little ones. They ain't little no more. They're still little. It's my last one. She started walking. I was like, man, I gotta take this advantage. And do a vlog before she vlogs before she she's out of sight. I won't be able to carry her no more. Anyway, welcome to the HN vlog. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Right below, man. Just click on subscribe if you like the content. But uh, I see on the news, man, this global warming stuff, man. <sighs> People that know me very well will tell you uh, I'm, I'm extremely green. Uh, uh, but I'm not a fanatic because I still use a lot of plastic packaging based products. You know, there's no other alternative. I still eat meat chicken or uh, steak so I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I'm the greenest guy ever but um you know I try to do my uh, my part and uh, I've been following what's been going on with uh, Greta and her movement and it, it just broke my heart man so I want to talk about it man check it out Now, I, I respect uh, young people, man. I respect young people, especially those who have convic convictions. They know what they want. They, 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 they strongly believe in something. Man, that was definitely not me, man. And, and um, Gre Greta, I, I applaud you, man. You, you have to be strong-minded and, and have strong conviction to, to face all those people and all those leaders. But... Um, yeah, I'm a, what we call a, a late bloomer, like they say. But uh, but yeah, man, I'm, I came, so I'm 42 now, right? I'm 42 years old. I came across this global warming. Actually, it was not even called global warming back then, but the first time I heard about environmental issues and all those things was in 1997 with a company called um, Equinox International. And they were talking about in Atlanta or in the States in general, um, how dirty tap water was and that was the beginning of bottled water right and how it, it, that company changed my mind I mean changed my mindset by the way big time but it was um, it was amazing how they were they were selling water filtration system and I was a sales rep and I talk about it on my book but they were selling a water filtration system and, and other environmental or friendly products. And they were talking about how people are, are willing to pay one, two, three dollars a bottle. Um, it's not even a gallon, it's one fourth of a gallon where you can buy a water filtration system and get clean water. But the, 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 the media have been able to change people's mindset. To the point where bottled water became became standard, uh, standard for, for 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 consumption, and that's just you know that was amazing, and 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 that's when I came across this environmental narrative where a company was started talking about it. That's 1997, uh, 1997, 1998, and we 2019. So we talking about 20 years, 21 years, um, and things that got worse, not better, but worse. So just the, the, the fact that this problem has been happening for now decades, the conversation has been going on for at least two decades that I know of, and we're still trying to convince the leaders, these world leaders, these people that are supposed to serve the people, right? It's supposed to be there for the people, elected by the people. Those were, and I'm not going to put everybody on the same bunch. I know that's not the case. There's some good leaders out there. You know, our president here is doing a good job. Uh, and and, uh, and uh, no plastic and all those things. That was revolutionary back then. There's some, uh, the, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia is doing a great job also. There's some, there's some good leaders out there 
Northern Europe, they, they're doing also a great job. China, they, they're trying, but you know, but I, I, at the same time, you, 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 you see, we, we're still trying to convince the leaders, the, 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 those global leaders to change the way they do business. It's like putting, you know, those cruise boats, I don't know if you ever seen those crew or ever been to a cruise boat. It's almost like having 10, 20, 30 people trying to push the, the, the cruise boat to turn around. That that's how, that's how useless I believe, and I'm speaking out of my own opinion right now, because we are destroying this country. I mean this planet. We we destroying it. We trashing it. I, I, I travel all across uh, um, the world right now, especially in Africa, and plastic everywhere. You see, um, I mean, tires, people live in condition that you, you can't even imagine, right? And of course, this is mostly in, in urban setting because rural area is getting trash also, but not as bad, right? Now, picture this, man. 50% of the population will be living in urban areas uh, in the next few decades. Yeah. About, by the end of the century, will be 4 point something billion people. They're saying Lagos will be 80 million people. The city of Lagos, not the country, the city. They're already like 15, 20 mil, give or take. We're talking about time four. I don't know if anybody's been to Lagos. I've been there several times. 20 mils are already hot. I mean, extremely hot. I'm being kind. 80 mil? What, what are we talking about? Right? Now, most of those big major cities don't have recycling plants. Uh, um, don't have a, a trash collection system. The, the infrastructure is not built for that kind of... Uh, uh, number of people so the the the, the impact the impact is going to be the, the negative impact on the environment is going to be so massive it's scary and and the reason why i'm talking about all this is if you're not been following but i, I don't know which world you live in because we all affected with all this uh global warming nonsense that is happening that we're causing man and i always say i've been saying this for the longest man human with the parasite of this planet we talk about we're the most advanced animal in 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 this planet no we're not we're the only animals we're the only kind that destroy our environment for 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 gain of money and wealth and whatever they call that is you know for for material things we're the only animal we, we destroy the plant the only planet we can live in the only planet it's just, <laughs> is this just me or it's crazy, right? I know there was a picture I, I used to see on Facebook where you have one tree left and a guy, and he used a tree to, you know, uh, uh, get shade from from the sun. And, uh, but no, the guy decided to cut it off and build, I don't know what, uh, a chair, a house, but he ain't got no more shade or whatever the, no, it was a chain, he, he sold it. And he can't get covered, man. The heat is blowing him up. So we, 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 we self-destructing our, ourselves and definitely our next generation. I mean, I feel so bad. I got three kids and I, and I feel responsible. We have failed. We are failed. Our parents failed us. We failing our kids. And what they're going to inherit, I don't even want to imagine. Because that's going to be sad as hell, man completely sad so the whole point of this vlog was why are we still talking to global leaders that haven't done shit literally shit in the last 20 30 years nothing zero yet you know nada why are we still talking to those people man we wasting our time you want to change you want to have major massive changes you know, hit them where they, where it hurts. That's the way you change. That's why we cause changes. We need to boycott uh, companies um, that are causing massive, massive uh, negative impact on the environment. We we have to boycott those 
those companies, not buy their product or their services. Imagine, you know, when, when, when those shareholders start losing money, I guarantee you they're going to start listening. We trying to this this is the perfect example where we have to have a bottom up approach, where people need to organize themselves, boycott companies, you no know, oil company. Why are you buying cars, man? Why you keep buying cars? Buy a mo electrical motorcycle, um, or motorbike. If you're in a small country, if you're in a big country, man, do car sharing, right? Or trying to buy a car and 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 that is electrical. Uh, stop using cement. I'm building my home right now. I'm trying to use uh, uh, material that we can find everywhere. There's technology all already. It's called, I think it's called RAM. Well, I forgot the name of the technology. It's been in existence for centuries now, where you can use uh, uh, you know, natural uh, uh, soil and compact it and make any type of um, of home that you that is solid, you know, and 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 durable, and even more durable than cement because now the house is alive. You can breathe. It, you know the 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 air circulate and all those things. I mean, I've been reading a lot about eco housing for the last two three years. Uh, you, you need to, and, and we all guilty. Me, everybody's guilty. Shoot, look at look at my car, man. I got a diesel. I got a diesel pickup truck. That's what I use for 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 work and personal, right? These. It's, I'm, I'm as guilty as everybody else. I'm not here trying to preach, but I'm. We need to be conscious that the the the. We need to do something. We need to be conscious of what's happening, and if, if you got kids, we have a responsibility. We have a responsibility as parent to make sure that the kids inherit a decent planet. They have a chance to live a decent life. We going backwards, guys. You know, we, we're going to be 12 billion, uh, I think, you know, at the end of the century. 12 billion people. Now we're around nine. What, what kind of life do you think we're going to give to that, to our kids? Crime is going to be crazy. With people living, 50% of people living in urban area. I don't even want to be in urban area. That's, well, if I'm still alive. But even in 20 years, by the time I'm 60, 70, I don't want to be in an urban setting, man. I don't want to be in rural areas, man. Quiet, safe, and sound, man. It's just going to be crazy. You got to start growing your own food. You got to start teaching your kids that. So they, there's a shift. There's a complete shift that is happening around the world on the macro level and on the micro level that will impact everybody. I don't care how rich your country is, you'll be impacted. You know, if you're not growing your food and using... Uh, eco-friendly products and, and uh, eco-friendly material for your house and eco-friendly uh, cars or vehicle for transportation, whatever the case that is, then you are part of the problem, man. You're definitely part of the problem. And if we're not solving this problem, or at least trying to trying to uh, uh, minimize, because I don't even think we can reverse this. It's too late. We keep talking about reversal for the last 20 years. 20 years we've been talking about reversing this uh this uh, global warming thing. It's just, and that's that's the narrative and the PR going on. But it's too late. It's too late, man. The glacier are melting faster than expected. When I read this, I stop reading because it's it's, it's depressing. It's depressing, literally depressing. But yeah, guys, boycott those big corporations, oil companies, oil cars, and all those. Uh, 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 combustible engines and all those things don't buy cement I guarantee you those companies will start listening and start developing the technology already exists anyway to start using uh, more eco-friendly products that's just the bottom line